Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back with a massive Goose Creek haul to share with you. So I have never ordered anything from Goose Creek before. When I was posting my Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale haul videos, one of you uh, subscribers commented on one of those videos saying that I should try Goose Creek because they are really nice and that they carry body lotions and body sprays and wax melts and candles and all of those things too, and that they're like way Way cheaper than Bath and Body Works so I was like wow um, I need to get on and look and so that's what I did and this is what happened <laughs> um, I will tell you guys their sale stuff is even less expensive than Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale prices um, body lotions I got body lotions on sale for $2.99 I got wax melts on sale for $2.99 and I got a whole bunch of candles and I didn't, some of the candles I paid $7 for up to I think $9.50 is the most I paid for a candle. They're big three wicks just like Bath & Body Works. So yeah, I got a little crazy because the prices were so good. So anyways, yeah, I'm gonna jump right in. I've got a ton of stuff to show you. I'm gonna start with wax melts. I got four wax melts. I got a ton of body lotion because I just wanna test them and they were so inexpensive. Um, I just grabbed a bunch of different scents I got 12 candles, so I'm gonna jump right in. Wax melts I adore. I love wax melts. I usually have a warmer in my bedroom and in the living room. Um, I have like plug-in warmers though. I just love wax, I love wax warmers and wax melts. They smell amazing. They smell your house up just like a candle would, and yeah, I just love them. So anyways, the first one I got is this one here. This is called Coffee House, and this one, they don't have like the notes or anything. on. They do on their lotions, but not on their candles or like their wax melts. So I'll just have to try to explain these to you the best I can. Um, these were $2.99. Yeah, they don't have notes anywhere. They were $2.99 though, and this one just smells like coffee. It smells like black coffee or like coffee with cream. It's not overly sweet. It's small. It's like just a really nice coffee scent. So I'm super excited to put this one in my warmer and see what that's like. Um, yeah, I have never tried anything from Goose Creek. So this is all, um, this is all like going to be really fun to test. Next, I got this one here. This is called Toasty Hot Toddy. And ooh, this one smells like it smells like, um, it smells like fall. It smells like pumpkin, apple. It probably doesn't have pumpkin in it, but I just would, I guess how it's, it, it smells like pumpkin to me. It smells like cinnamon, pumpkin, maybe with like a little bit of apple in it or something. It's just a super pretty like fall scent. Um, I picked up this one here. This is apple bourbon and Ooh, this one is super nice. It smells, again, like a fall apple scent. Nothing groundbreaking about this one at all. Like, it's, um, smells kind of like the apple pumpkin from Bath & Body Works. It's funny because I thought when I saw these, when I was going through the website, I was like, I wouldn't doubt if this is Bath & Body Works, um, if Goose Creek is owned by Bath & Body Works. I don't think so. I don't think so because I think... I think Bath & Body Works is based out of Illinois and it looks like Goose Creek is based out of Kentucky. So I don't think that they're affiliated, but I don't know. Okay, next I picked up this one here. This is called Cider House Donuts. And ugh, this one is, it smells like, it kind of smells like apple cider and like a cinnamon donut. That's what it smells like. But the apple isn't like super prominent. It's kind of like in the background. It's mostly like kind of a cinnamon sugary donut, but with a little bit of a brightness from the apple. So that one is called Cider House Apple. No, sorry, Cider House Donut. I got a little bit out of hand with lotions. I've got two, four, six, eight, ten. I've got 11 lotions here, but it's because they were so inexpensive. They were $2.99, and I just kept coming across like... I didn't expect them to have so many good scents on sale, but they had just a ton. I love these bottles. I think that they're way prettier than the Bath & Body Works bottles. So this first one here is called Snowman Cookie, and 
I love anything with like a, it's just such a pretty bottle. And these are interesting because you like, it's got like a little tab and you pull up the top and then that's where your lotion comes out. So it's, I don't know, it's kind of nice. It's very easy. Not that, you know, all lotions aren't easy, but okay. The, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit concerned about these lotions because they, they seem like, they seem like they've got that kind of a base kind of lotion-y scent the way that Bath and Body Works do. That's why I usually buy the, the body creams from Bath and Body Works because the, the creams don't seem to have that weird like lotion-y base that these kinds of lotions do. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try just a little bit. Oh gosh, it's such a nice lotion though. It's, um, oh my gosh, it's such a nice lotion. It's really, really light, but super, super moisturizing. Okay, um, so this reminds me, this really does remind me of Christmas. It really it reminds me of Christmas, and I'm not getting that weird. I can smell that kind of weird lotiony base when I smell it in the um, bottle, but once I get it on my skin, it's not there, which is amazing. I hope they're all like that. So this one is sugar cookie, swirled icing, bakery notes, and vanilla marshmallow. And the bakery notes I'm getting cinnamon. Oh, it's so good. Oh my gosh, I love this. The longer it sits on my skin, the more I'm loving it. It smells like Christmas. It smells like a Christmas cookie. It's got spices in it, which I was not expecting. Oh my gosh, it is so good. And it's so, so fragrant. I've just got it on a little part of my arm and it's so fragrant. I can only imagine what this is gonna be like when it's all over. I'm going to smell like a walking Christmas cookie. Oh, I'm so happy. That one is such a winner. So that one is called Snowman Cookie. Next, I picked this one up because I thought that this one would be great to layer my Dua um, Caramel Apple fragrances over. I think that this is going to be a winner. This one is called Carnival Apple and I don't know if you guys can see like how well you can see these. Yeah, that one is called Carnival Apple. And this one is green apple, spun sugar, light cinnamon, and vanilla. It smells so good. It smells like fall. It smells like autumn in a bottle. It reminds me of like, it smells like Halloween time, which is my favorite time of year. It reminds me of turning leaves, crisp fall nights, trick-or-treating, hot apple cider, like everything that you love about fall. This is, it, it's like that in a bottle. So I am very, very excited to have this to layer my Dua caramel apple fragrances over. Um, Dua makes some of the best apple fragrances because they are beasts. They last forever. Um, so that's gonna be great to layer them over. Next, I got this one here. This one is called Vanilla Pumpkin Waffle, and this one is Creamy Vanilla Pumpkin Twist Soft Spices and Vanilla Waffle. So part of why I was so attracted to these ones is because of the spices. They've got spices in them. Oh my gosh, and I love it. This one smells amazing. It's like sweet and creamy, but spiced. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And the pumpkin is not, it doesn't smell like Bath and Body Works pumpkin. It smells, it's a little bit more fresh. Oh, it just smells so good. These, I am super, super happy with these. I am also super happy that I was thinking that I could smell some weird lotion base in them, but now that I'm smelling them again, I'm not getting that weird lotion base. Oh my gosh, this one is amazing. They're, every single one that I have, except for one, one I think I'm gonna have to give to my husband because it's like a little too masculine for me. I'm gonna try it though. I'm gonna try it on me and see, but it'll probably end up going to him because it's very masculine, but I, ha I was super happy with every single one that I got. And for $2.99, you cannot beat it. So anyways, that one is Vanilla Pumpkin Waffle. 
Next, I picked up this one. This is just called Vanilla Bean. Um, I love just a simple vanilla lotion to layer perfume over. Um, there's nothing better than just a simple vanilla lotion. I've got a really, really good one from Dollar General that is a great simple vanilla, but this is a little bit darker and a little bit creamier than the one from Dollar General. Um, I guess because it's the vanilla bean and not just like a regular vanilla. Actually, the one from Dollar General I think is vanilla and um, it's like vanilla and cotton blossom or something, so it's kind of a mix. This is beautiful though. This smells like melted vanilla ice cream. Oh, it is so good. So the notes on this one are vanilla bean, buttercream icing, and marshmallows. So yeah, it smells like just like melted vanilla ice cream. It's so good. Okay, next I picked up this one here. This is just called Soothing Coconut. I wanted just a good coconut lotion. The only one that I was able to pick up from the semi-annual sale this year was the Copper Coconut Sands and the Coconut Cream Pie, which I adore the Coconut Cream Pie, but it's Coconut Cream Pie isn't a fresh coconut. And the Coconut Copper Sands is, it's kind of a fresh coconut, but it's it's not just like a plain coconut, and that's kind of what I was looking for. So soothing coconut is a sweet, milky coconut, island rain, soft vanilla, and light citrus. Ugh, it's so good. This is a super fresh coconut. I guess because of that rain, like that fantasy rain note, and then the citrus in it. Oh my goodness, it is so beautiful. I don't have anything like this. I don't have anything that smells like this. It's so good. It's a beautiful, fresh coconut. So anyways, that one is called Soothing Coconut. Did I show you? Well, I'll try to show you guys the bottle, sorry. So that is the Soothing Coconut. And then let me show you the Vanilla Bean. I don't think I showed you that one. That is the vanilla bean. And then I don't think I showed you the waffles one either. I'm so sorry, I slacked. This is the vanilla pumpkin waffle. Oh, this one is so good. They're all so good. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys the candles I got. Ugh, so many good ones. Okay, this is the one that I think is a little too masculine for me. This is This one is called Burlwood and Oak. And this is, it sounded, the notes on this one sounded so good though. Uh, rosemary, lavender, oak, cashmere woods, sandalwood, and oak moss. It sounded amazing. But it smells very, very masculine. Oh, but I'm still going to try it. I'm going to wear it because, oh, it smells so good. It does smell masculine, but it also sp smells like herbaceous and woody and clean. Oh gosh, I have a feeling it's gonna smell really, actually really, really good on me. So yeah, it'll probably end up staying in my collection. But so anyways, that is a good one. That one is called Burlwood and Oak. There's something about their labels too that it they're so, um, there's something so like comforting about their labels. There's something like so homey about them. I don't know. Okay, this next one is this one here. It's called Beach Dreams. And this one is vanilla bean, clementine, red apple, and sandalwood. So this is one I probably did not need because I don't need another apple or red apple lotion in my collection because I've got Country Apple from Bath & Body Works, which is a beautiful red apple. This one, this is the, the one that really smelled like it had that kind of lotion-y um, base to it. I'm gonna take a little bit out and put it on and just see. Gosh, these are so good, you guys. So they will, sometimes you can smell this like lotion-y base, and I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. It almost smells like, uh, like you can smell the base of the lotion through the fragrance. Um, it's like this plain kind of weird lotion smell. Um, you can kind of smell it in the bottle, but once you get it on your skin, it goes away. 
Oh my gosh, this is a good one. I can barely smell the red apple in this. Oh my goodness, this one is beautiful. There's something about the way the vanilla and the clementine and the apple are blended with the sandalwood that make it, oh my gosh, it's so good. It's super, super warm and cozy smelling. Oh, it's amazing, it's amazing. It somehow reminds me of the beach, even though there's nothing beachy about it, but they called it Beach Dreams, so. Oh my gosh, it's a good one. Okay, so that one is called Beach Dreams. I, I'm so stoked with all of these, you guys. Thank you so much, too. I think her name is Alana, um, who told me about these. Alana or Elena? I think Alana. But she's the one that recommended Goose Creek to me, and I am super stoked because now... Um, I will probably get on there like every, I don't know, every quarter or so and do a haul like this because I have a, I bet that they put different things on sale at different times, especially for candles. Their candles really are, I need to, I'm going to burn one tonight to see like how it performs in comparison to Bath and Body Works. Let me know if you guys are interested in knowing if they're as good as Bath and Body Works candles and maybe I'll save one, um, and just talk about it in a what I wore last week video or something just so I can update you guys on how it burned, if it was fragrance, like if it compares to Bath and Body Works, if they're worth picking up, um, I will definitely do that. Anyways, next lotion is this one here. This is called Cozy Kitten. This one, I'm not gonna lie you guys, this got me just because of the cat on it and because of the name of it, Cozy Kitten. Um, how cute is that? <laughs> so, Okay, Cozy Kitten is Spun Sugar, Red Berries, Soft Patchouli, and Sandalwood. This one, um, I'm going to have to try this one on my skin, but this, the patchouli is the most prominent note. It's the most beautiful, like, soft patchouli, though. This would pair or layer beautifully under um, Flower Balm, La Via Belle, per fragrances like that like a really beautiful, sweet, um, kind of floral patchouli, they would layer beautifully over this. This ended up being probably my least favorite just because I'm not a huge fan of fragrances like Flower Bomb and it reminds me a little bit of Flower Bomb. Yeah, I'll see. There's something about this that really reminds me of like, I don't know, 2008, 2009, that time period there in there. This really reminds me of that time, that like those years. So there's something like comforting about it. So anyways, that one is called Cozy Kitten. Ugh, this next one, you guys, oh my gosh. When I smelled this, I died because it is so good. This one is called Limoncello. Look at the label on it. I think that is, well, I mean, it's definitely Italy. I don't know where in Italy. How beautiful is that? And I love how they did the lemon yellow label on the back. Okay, so limoncello is sugary lemon juice, sweet pineapple, and vanilla sugar. Oh my gosh. It is so lemony. Like, it makes your mouth water. It makes your, like, you know, your salivary glands water. Such a tart lemon. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I cannot wait to wear this one. I've got a, um, what is it, C.O. Bigelow lemon perfume that I think is going to pair beautifully over this. So I'm super excited. So anyways, that one is called Limoncello. Okay, we're almost done. We're down to the last two. Next, I got this one here. This is Marshmallow Sugar. I felt like this one would just pair well with any gourmand fragrance in my collection. I feel like this will be, I mean, this would really be a perfect base for anything. I could literally layer, I think, anything over this. This is fluffy marshmallows, batter, warm vanilla bean, and cream. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my, it is so good, you guys. If you are looking for a good gourmand lotion, like look no further. This one is amazing. You can almost smell like a fresh cream note in it too. It's so, so good. It's sweet and sugary and it smells like icing and marshmallows. 
and fresh cream and sugar is exactly what it smells like. It smells amazing. I think that anything will layer beautifully over this and I'm super, super excited to try that one. So anyways, that one is called Marshmallow Sugar. Yeah, my husband was not happy when he saw this order because it came in two huge boxes, but it all, it fits in a single box. Um, they just put so much packaging in them that it took them two huge boxes to get it to me. But one of them is basically just a huge box full of packing. I've got everything into one box, so it made it seem way worse than it was. Okay, this the last one is called Warm Sunset, and this one is, here, let me show you the bottle first. I just love the labels. Like, how cozy is that label? It's so pretty. Okay, so Warm Sunset is Warm Amber, Sunbeams, Sandalwood, Soft Vanilla, and White Woods. It's so pretty. It does smell like a really beautiful, kind of slightly sweet, really warm, light amber. It's stunning. These, I think because I have been so used to recycled Bath & Body Works fragrances, that I'm getting my nose on lotions that smell different. They smell warm. I guess all the fragrances I got are warm fragrances too, or kind of fall leaning fragrances. They smell so completely different from Bath and Body Works fragrances that I'm like, I'm obsessed with them right now. I cannot wait to get these on. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get them on my body. Okay, and then next we're, we've got candles. So I'm just gonna go, I've got 12 here. I'm gonna start with this one. I was so smitten with this candle when I first smelled it. So they've got this whole travel collection and they were all on sale. So I tried to pick up as many of them as I could. Unfortunately, they one went out of stock before I could check out. And it looks like they sent me two replacement candles for two that, I'm, that I ordered. Um, I know I'm missing the Mexico one, which I ordered, and I think, I think a Switzer, Switzerland. I think I ordered Mexico and Switzerland, and they sent me repl two replacement candles of a fragrance I don't even really like. Um, but anyways, yeah, these were so inexpensive. I didn't pay more than $9.50 for any of these candles. Some of them were $7. So this travel collection, they're from all over the, like the world there. It just says world traveler. This one is Madagascar and it is black satin vanilla. It's going to be really hard to get my camera to focus on these because they're so shiny. Okay. So that one is Madagascar Black Satin Vanilla. Look at the beautiful label. Oh my goodness. It is so pretty. So these do not have notes on them anywhere. So I guess we just have to go with the Black Satin Vanilla. Um, uh, it smells amazing. It smells like vanilla, but it's, it's a little, it's like a perfumey vanilla. It's not a gourmand vanilla. It's like a perfumey vanilla. It smells like incredible. I cannot wait. In fact, this might be the first one I start burning. We'll see. So anyways, that one is called Madagascar. Next, we've got this one here. This is called Turkey, and this is Turkish coffee. Um, I love this label too, just because I'm obsessed with, I don't know if any of you on here watch Itchy Boots on... YouTube, she has a YouTube channel. She's this amazing lady that rides her motorcycle all over the world. And when she rode um, around from India to Europe, she went through Turkey and she went out and she filmed all of these balloons when they take off early in the morning. It's like a thing. So this label just reminded me of that and I just think it's so beautiful. So this is just a yummy, sweet coffee scent. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's a really nice coffee. Okay, next we have got Belgium, and Belgium is, it's just a sweet shop. So, again with these labels. How beautiful is that label? I don't know if it's focusing well or not, but it's so pretty. Ugh, they're so pretty. 
Um, this smells like, it smells like caramel. It smells like red hot candy and caramel. Like cinnamon caramel. Oh, it is so nice. I love bakery scents, so these are like my favorite. Um, oh, yay. Next, I've got this one here. This is Slovakia, and Slovakia is Laskonsi, Laskons, Laskonki. I'm sorry, Laskonki cookie. I've never said that word before in my life, but look at this. <sighs> that label. Oh, it's so pretty. And this one is not super fragrant, but it does smell like a, it smells like a sweet cookie, like vanilla cookie. I have a, I don't know, this one could go either way. It could be a complete dud when it burns, or it could get really fragrant when it burns, I'm not sure. Let me know if you guys want me to do um, home fragrance empties too. I totally can, because I've always got tons of home fragrance empties because I burn through candles so quickly and wax melts and things. I would, um, I'd be happy to start saving that stuff if you guys are interested, especially when I'm testing different, you know, new brands like this. So you know if it's worth buying them or not. Oh no, I did get Mexico. So I can't remember what, I'm missing two countries. I know, I, oh, I think I'm missing Germany. I got one called, it was German, but it was Black Forest. It was like Germany, and I think the um, I think the scent was Black Forest. So I think I'm missing that one, and I'm missing another one. I can't totally remember. Okay, so I do have Mexico. Yay! This one is called uh, Tres Leche Cake. Such a beautiful, colorful label. Just like Mexico, beautiful, colorful country. Ugh, this, it smells like, it smells like a caramel cake. That's exactly what it smells like, like a milky caramel cake. Oh, it's gonna be a good one. So that one is Mexico. Okay, next I've got China. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this one, you guys. This one is called, this one is China and it's called Sweet Honey. And the label on this. Like, oh, how stunning is that label? Oh my goodness, okay. This is the most beautiful, sweet honey. Like, sweet, realistic honey. It's got something else in it though. Something that almost gives it like a freshness. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I'm so excited to burn this one. I think it's just gonna be stunning. So anyways, that one is called China, or that one is the China one. Okay, next we've got Italy, and Italy is sweet tiramisu. These labels, you guys, I cannot get enough of them, and I just think they're gonna be beautiful burning. So that is Italy. Ugh, sweet tiramisu. I mean, what else can you say? It just smells like sweet cake, but like with maybe the slightest hint of coffee in it. Ugh, it's good. So anyways, that is Italy. Okay, these are, um, this is one of the replacement candles that they sent me for something because I would never have ordered this. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the Bath & Body Works eucalyptus mint scent or eucalyptus spearmint scent. And so, yeah, I immediately, when I pulled this out, I was like, oh no, they must have sent this as a replacement for something that they were out of stock of, of because I would not have bought this. Um, this is called Soothe Eucalyptus Mint. Um, it just says mint eucalyptus and leaves. I will say it is a super nice candle. It's way nicer than the Bath & Body Works eucalyptus and spearmint scent because it's way fresher smelling. Yeah, it's this is really, really crisp smelling. I just don't love the smell of these when they burn because I don't know, there's something weird about fresh scents when they burn as a candle. Um, I like them as wax melts, but when they burn as a candle, they're, something gets weird and chemically smelling about them. So I don't know, we'll see. This smells like a really beautiful 
um, like a Zen spa in the in the um, jar, but I will just have to see what it smells like when it burns. So, anyways, that one is called Soothe. Let me see if I can show you the label. Yeah, Soothe Eucalyptus and Mint. Unfortunately, I've got two of them. Next, we have this. This was one of my favorites. This one is the Netherlands, and this is Stroop Waffles. So I love Stroop Waffles. They're those little, um, they're like waffle cookies that have a layer of caramel in the middle, and you set them on top, you're supposed to set them on top of your mug of like tea or coffee, and it'll warm your cookie through, and then you've got this gooey, yummy cookie. And that's what this candle is supposed to smell like. Um, let me show you this stunning label. Oh my goodness, so the Netherlands, and it's got a windmill, and all of the tulips. How gorgeous, and all the, those are all windmills on the back. More windmills. And tulips all around the bottom. So, so beautiful. Oh my gosh, and it smells, it's like a sugary caramel cookie. That's exactly what it smells like, like a sugary caramel cookie. Oh, it's so good, I can't wait to burn this one. So anyways, that is the Netherlands. Ooh, next we've got Scotland, and this one is sugared shortbread. So, ugh, Scotland, this label is gorgeous. You can see it's got kind of like a Stonehenge stone circle oh my goodness how beautiful there's just something so like cozy about this brand in general Ooh, so it's just sugared shortbread and again it just smells like a like a butter cookie it's not overly sweet it's like very buttery like a butter cookie. Beautiful. So that one is Scotland. Uh, unfortunately, my second eucalyptus mint one. And then last but not least is my Switzerland one. So so I did get Switzerland. So I'm missing my Germ my Black Forest Germany one. Maybe India. Maybe I had an in I ordered an India one. Yeah, those must be the two I'm missing. So Switzerland is pumpkin gnocchi. And again with a beautiful label. So, so pretty. Ugh, and this smells, it smells like pumpkin. It smells like a spicy, a spicy, really not sweet pumpkin. This one is gonna be perfect for fall. I'm super excited about that one. So that is Switzerland. That is gonna be it, guys. That is a huge Goose Creek haul. I do hope that you all found this helpful and that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.